I am on the hunt along with the foremost expert with the Toronto Region Conservation Authority for mosquito larvae. And guess what? We're finding them. Some experts predict this is going to be a very bad season for those pesky little insects. Yeah. Jessica Fang is an aquatic biologist and spends her days collecting mosquito larvae and analyzing them to determine what species they are. We did see some uh, mosquitoes already. Um, they're breeding in the snow melt puddles and um, so mosquito, mosquito season is here. Is that not awfully early? It is pretty early, but we did uh, experience a pretty mild winter. The goal of the Conservation Authority and public health departments across the region is to eliminate the species that can carry West Nile virus. There are 67 species of mosquito in Ontario, 13 or so carry West Nile, with the primary vector being the Kulik species. Jessica has not found any vector species yet this year, and while she says it's too soon to tell how bad the season will be, she's seen the warning signs. I think the model did predict a uh, PD uh, worse than normal year. For mosquitoes. For mosquitoes. Toronto Public Health said in an email they'll know better in a few weeks how bad the season will be and will conduct its normal mosquito surveillance starting in June. Last year, 30 human cases of West Nile were reported in Ontario. The last outbreak was in 2012 when more than 300 were reported. It's really wet and mosquitoes need those wet environments in order to breed. And so I think this year, the way if it continues the way it is, it's going to be a terrible year for mosquitoes. Daniel Mackey is the technical director of a pest control company and says he's already seeing mosquitoes. We're already getting calls in our office about mosquitoes. People are saying, what are we doing about the mosquitoes? Why are they so bad? Oh, that is rank. There are products that can reduce the numbers of mosquitoes. This natural garlic solution is one, but Mackey says residents should make sure to get rid of standing water in their yards, pools, pots, toys that have been outside. But you get, you know. When it comes to ditches with poor drainage, the municipality will often come and empty it for you or grade it properly. Believe it or not, Daniel Mackey says one of the best and easiest ways to get rid of mosquitoes is to have a fan blowing in the backyard where you sit. Even a little air circulation can help keep them away. I'm Pam Seidel, City News.